Muffin Day! Huh? No! Hello, Les, ladies, gents, ladies, and whoever, whatever, welcome back to another video. And I hope you're ready for, uh, fuck you, Randy. Today, I wanted to revisit Battleborn, but unfortunately, thanks to live service games, we actually can't play this game anymore. However, this will probably end up being a little bit more of a, I long for this game to be playable more than this game's trash and did they fix it? Because honestly, this game didn't suck. People hated it because of when it was launched. It unfortunately launched at a time when Overwatch, which Blizzard can suck a dick, managed to corner the market on the idea of the hero shooter, which the game never was, at least not fully. However, thanks to Randy Pitchford and his shitty marketing, just like he did for Alien Colonial Marines, he managed to make the game seem like it was something more than what it actually was, which sadly meant Battleborn struggled when it was launched. And sure, overall you can describe Battleborn technically as a hero shooter, but I would say it's actually more in line with Borderlands Cross Doom than it is something like Overwatch. They made it out to seem like it was an Overwatch clone, which it just wasn't. And the reason why I say it's more like Borderlands Cross Doom is because although we play a character with certain abilities like you would in Borderlands, most of the combat took place in arenas. I mean, the game had a very heavy focus on constant movement and constantly using your abilities, which made the game an absolute blast to play. Honestly, it was a really damn good game and a lot of care and love went into making it. It's just the marketing screwed it. How would you expect anyone to want to play the game when Randy Pitchford is talking about the fact there's Rule 34 porn of the characters? Thanks, Randy. The plot of the game isn't anything particularly special. It's more the setting of the game that I think carries it. But for the sake of argument, let's talk about the plot. After the leader of the generic Imperium, Luther Rendane, started a rampage of destroying all the stars in the universe, the captain of the UPR, the United Peacekeeping Republics, Trevor Galt, formed a coalition in order to save the last star, Solus. So it's pretty much bad guy wants to do all the bad shit and good guy comes and saves the day. Now, granted, we do have quite a few good guys we could have picked from, actually over 25 different different heroes you could pick from along with five being released as DLC down the line, meaning you had plenty of reasons to replay the game in order to play different heroes. There is a revival project that's apparently in the works, however I don't know how far along it is and I don't know if it's going to be any good. So since I didn't get to replay the game, I can't really give you much more insight other than just when I played the game myself. Unfortunately, if you never got to play this game, you won't be able to unless this revival project works out. So I'm going to leave you with the opening cutscene and let that whole thing play because I think that's honestly worth watching. Also, once again, fuck you, Randy. Thanks for ruining it, champ.
down to zero. Lost everything just to find a hero. Gained insight, but still blind to hear, though. Galaxies away, but our fate is real close. Puzzling arrangement, gotta put the pieces back. Double check everything, it could be a trap. The natural order preserved, so at last, or dominate the resources. Feed off it, live 20,000 years to keep walking. Then watch the rest seem to be clipped. Technology at their fingertips, or attempt to escape red tape. Stick your nose in everybody's debate. Join the force and everybody's afraid. No need to be, you're welcome to join them. Follow the rules and regulations employed then. Thank you. 